Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And today we're gonna to talk about is buyer's remorse, or if you want the technical term for it, <clears throat> post-purchase cognitive dissonance. Basically what this is, is you know that feeling you get after you buy something and you go, why did I buy that? Did I make the right decision buying that? Is this the right school for me? Did I choose the right place? Or, or did I rent the right movie for this date? Or did I pick the right restaurant? That kind of doubt you have after you purchase something or make a decision, that is buyer's remorse. And customers have that. And the thing is, is we as consumers have that, but also companies have to realize that customers are going to have buyer's remorse. And so we need to do something about it, okay? Now, when you look at buyer's remorse, what you have to realize is the more financial risk people put in there, and the more important the decision is to them, the more chance they're gonna have buyer's remorse. I mean, think about it. You're a lot more worried about planning that great vacation that you're gonna spend thousands of dollars on than you are, you know, picking which movie to go to, which will cost you 20 bucks, right? There's a bigger financial risk. Also, there's a more time commitment. There's more, like I said, money. There's more safety things I gotta worry about. I'm gonna go traveling. You have all those things. So there's a lot more involved. There's a lot more money. Those kind of things, you're gonna have a lot more chance of buyer's remorse. Buying a car, right? If you're gonna buy a car, you're gonna shell out a lot of money. Is this the right car for me? Will the gas mileage be right? Is it gonna be okay? You're gonna be worried about that. You don't have too much buyer's remorse when you buy a bus tick. I mean, here in Santa Fe, the bus ticks are like, a buck so you're out a buck oh well it went the wrong direction no big deal you buy the wrong car you're out fifty thousand dollars maybe okay and so we kind of think about these things and so what companies need to do is make sure they're reassuring their clients that they made the right purchase so that's why if you buy a new car a lot of times after a week they'll give you a call hey how's that new car going for you is your Ford Expedition doing it holding up okay hey don't forget to come in for your 30-day checkup hey six months in they might call you again hey just want to see if everything's going okay why don't you come in we'll Tune everything up, make sure you're happy because they know you spent all this money. They want to make sure you're happy to kind of cut back on that buyer's remorse. But the thing is, you don't just want to say, hey, we want to make sure there's no problems. You also want to reinforce that they made the right decisions. That's why you'll see all these commercials, like Chevy commercials always talk about the JD Power Awards. Look at all these awards we've won. It's not just for potential new customers. It's also for customers that already bought the product so they can feel like, did I make the right choice? Well, they won all these awards, so we must have made the right choice because everyone else thinks it's great. And so you have those things out there. And the thing is buyer's remorse really will depend on the client and how their perception of risk is and things like that. Therefore, to fight off buyer's remorse, a lot of customers will do more research. I and mean, it's kind of like if you're gonna buy a house, you're gonna research the neighborhood, you're gonna research the schools, resale market, who lives there, you're gonna drive through the neighborhood morning, noon, and night to see what it's like to get a feel for what that neighborhood's like so you feel like you're making a better choice. And the thing is, if you're selling products that people are gonna to wanna to know all this stuff, you're gonna to wanna to share that information. That's why if you look on Zillow, which is a website that, that lets you look at houses in the US, it shows you the inside of the house. So you can see what's there. It shows you the rooms, the square footage. It tells you what school districts it's in. It tells you what the property tax was. It shows some of the other houses in the neighborhood that have been for sale and what those prices were. It gives you an idea of what's out there so you can have a more informed choice. So it's less likely you're gonna have buyer's remorse. And the thing is you can have this for anything, whether it's making a college choice, right? They're like, look, here's all the degrees we have. Here's our job placement. Here's our alumni that come back and talk to us. They do those those things to help you reinforce to you as a college student, hey, you made the right choice going to this university. And so you have that. So I hope this helps you understand what buyer's remorse is or post-purchase cognitive dissonance. And if you want the technical definition, the technical definition is <clears throat> post-purchase cognitive dissonance, the internal conflict that arises from inconsistencies when consumers question the appropriateness of their purchase after the purchase. Basically, did I mess up? Whoops, if I did, buyer's remorse. If not, you're good to go. So I hope you don't have too much buyer's remorse watching this video. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but hey, you know what? If you're studying for an exam, this question is always on the exam. So that might be a bonus for you. So now you shouldn't have any buyer's remorse because you're helped out at least for one question on your exam. Anyway, I'll say bye from here in Santa Fe. If you like marketing videos like that, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and we'll say bye from here in Santa Fe. And I'm having a little buyer's remorse because they have this thing called the Margarita Trail. You get an app for three bucks and it gives you a dollar off like 37 different margaritas. And if you get a bunch of them, you get to have a free shirt. I haven't quite got to the shirt yet, but, but I'll get there. <laughs> bye from Santa Fe.